Hello, today we're looking at mains electricity. This is electricity provided to homes and schools, in fact. And what we have here is a picture of a plug socket. This is from a school, but it works in the same way as the one you have at home. We say that this plug socket will provide or supply alternating current. AC supply means alternating current. And the reason why we have alternating current is because the potential difference reverses. The potential difference reverses, and it actually reverses quite often. It reverses 50 times per second. 50 times per second. That means the current is going to change direction or reverse 50 times every second as well. We say that has a frequency of 50 hertz. Hertz means cycles or times per second. So it's a 50 hertz frequency. We can abbreviate hertz to capital H and a small z. The word hertz actually should be written with a small h. Potential difference is at about 230 volts. So this is our AC supply provided to our homes. And we should actually highlight the fact that we have 50 hertz and 230 volts of potential difference. So that's our AC supply. Now, when we're talking about something different, which is our DC supply, so DC stands for direct current, direct current. And this is current that flows in one direction only. And it's provided by a cell or a battery. Remember, a battery is two or more cells together. And some appliances will actually convert AC into DC as well. The potential difference will vary in our DC supply. So it depends on the cell you're using or the battery you're using. So that could vary 3 volts, 10 volts, 0 0.5 volts. These are just examples. These are not standard voltages. But they're just examples to show that your potential difference can vary in your DC supply. That's not taken from the mains. Okay, so that's a few key points about mains electricity. What we're going to look at now is the idea of how we get that mains electricity into our appliances and this is done via a three pin plug so here's one on the screen there if we take the back off it you'll notice that it has three cables or three wires we call this a three core cable because it has three wires coming from it and as you can see they are connected to different pins in the back of the plug so we have a live wire a neutral wire and an earth wire and you have to actually know and remember the positions of those and the colors of those wires. Those colors are standard and will be the same in every plug. So in terms of our live, that's a brown, the brown wire or insulated with brown plastic. The R shows that it's on the right hand side. So the brown wire, the live wire is on the right. And on the left, we have our neutral wire and conveniently blue, second letter is L. So that indicates or it can help you remember that it's on the left. The earth wire is the one that's remaining and hopefully you can remember that that's the one with the green and yellow stripes. So the earth wire has green and yellow stripes and is connected to the earth pin at the top there. The live wire that carries alternating potential difference from the supply as we just discussed. The neutral wire actually completes the circuit. So we have an appliance and the neutral wire will complete the circuit to that appliance. So for example, imagine we had a kettle very artistically drawn there. That's supposed to be a kettle. And that kettle will be supplied with potential difference and it will be supplied in via the live wire and the neutral wire will complete that circuit. So that kettle can then work and boil water. Okay, so let's just move that into the corner there. And these are the three key wires. What, is it, what does the earth wire do? I forgot to mention that. The earth wire is a safety wire which stops an appliance from becoming live. And we're gonna look at why that is uh, shortly. So these are the three kind of uh, wires that you need to know about. Remember, they are connected via pins to the electricity. And then this device over here is our fuse, and that's a safety device. And again, we'll look at that in detail in the next video. But the safety device, another way to remember, which is the live wire, that's the one that's always connected to the fuse. And the fuse is connected in that way shown in the diagram. So the next thing we need to remember is to do with the potential differences. So if we look at the earth wire, we describe that as being at zero volts. We describe the neutral wire and the neutral pin being at zero volts as well. But if we connect the neutral wire to the live wire, we're going to get a potential difference. And as we've already mentioned, that potential difference is gonna be 230 volts. So that will supply our appliance by connecting live to neutral. 
Okay, now the, the appliance might change that voltage, but between the live and the neutral wire, we have 230 volts of potential difference. Okay, so those are quite important to remember there. And then the final thing to remember about the structure of our three pin plug is to do with safety. So if you look at the various parts of the plug or some various parts of the plug, they are going to be made of plastic. Okay, so the outer coating is plastic or rubber. The, the wires are insulated with plastic. And in fact, that cable in the going into the plug is covered in plastic as well. Okay, now plastic is a good insulator and that's the reason why we have that covering the different parts there. Uh, there's also another safety feature at the bottom here. This is a piece of plastic, it's called a cable grip, and it stops the cable from being yanked out of, of the plug and pulling out those wires. Okay, now, one thing that's not quite clear from this diagram, if you look at that wire, the top of it, it's not shown in the diagram, but the top of it, that should be brown there, but it's in red. The top of it is stripped of plastic, so we expose the metal wire. This is usually copper, that has to be exposed, obviously, to connect to that metal pin to carry our current through our circuit. If it was covered, if it was insulated, the plug obviously wouldn't work. Okay, so that's not shown in the diagram, but the end of each of those wires is stripped. Okay, so we're just going to have a quick look at the idea of safety. And this is probably important, not just for your GCSE science, but obviously for um, everyday life as well. If we connect neutral and live, we have a potential difference across there of 230 volts. We also could have a potential difference of 230 volts across the earth and the live wire if those two were connected and therefore a current would flow between live and earth but the other thing also is that if that live wire was connected to the earth directly so the earth directly and by earth we literally mean the floor or the ground if that somehow became connected to the floor or the ground in other words earth we would have a potential difference of 230 volts between the live and the earth as well. And why do we need to know and remember that, take that into account? Well, if we have, for any reason, the live wire connected to the ground through a person, we've got the ground at zero volts, we've got the live wire at 230 volts, so that means the potential difference between the live and the earth is going to be 230 volts, connected by a person, in this example here, that's going to cause an electric shock. That's going to cause a current to flow through the person and it's going to cause an electric shock. And as we can see there, a current flows through that person to the ground and we have a complete circuit. The circuit is completed between the live and the ground. So very, very important that we don't get into, into a situation where we're connecting live to earth through a person okay so this is the um, idea of the plug and the three pin plug and how we use mains electricity some key facts that you need to know and some very important safety advice